Driverless subway trains, robot waiters, electric cars, delivery drones, autonomous cars, Alipay tap, smart vending machines, foldable smartphones, crazy fast trains. Yes, this is China. You know, when I first moved to China, I knew I was going to see some cool tech here and there. Maybe a fast train, perhaps a fancy phone, but nothing really prepared me for what I've seen during the last few years. And I'm not just talking about the big stuff. I'm also talking about the convenience of daily life. And you know the craziest part of all? The innovation in China is happening so fast that I barely can keep up with that pace. It's time to let go of the old idea that China's success is just about cheap labor or playing unfair. In today's global economy, no one is out there stealing entire industries or profits. What's really happening is that Chinese companies are constantly making small, smart improvements every single day. And those little changes are adding up to something big. If we really want to understand what's driving progress, maybe even learn something for ourselves. That's exactly where we should be looking. Now, let me tell you about one of the first things that blew my mind here in China. I'm talking about the subway systems. Did you know that in 1990, China had only two metro systems, Beijing and Tianjin, with a combined length of just over 50 kilometers? Fast forward to today and the transformation is staggering. As of late of 2024, China boasts 54 metro systems spanning nearly 11,000 kilometers across 54 cities, making it the country with the most extensive urban rail network globally. The technology behind it is just really incredible. I'm not talking just the fact that all the trains arrive on time. It's just the stations are so beautiful, well designed. The systems connect whole cities, like in Beijing or in Shanghai. You can go anywhere just using the subway. Chinese subway systems are built fast, like really fast. Some entire metro lines go from planning to operation in just a few years. They also integrate new tech from the start, AI for train scheduling and full 5G coverage in station and tunnels. Some trains are driverless. To access the stations, you just use face recognition or just your phone scanning a QR code. You have signals in different languages that welcome visitors from all around the world. So in general, the whole experience of riding a subway here in China, it's really incredible. Did you know that by 2025, over 90% of people in China's major cities were using mobile payment as their primary way to pay? even at street food stalls and wet markets. Mobile payment is something that is really changing the game here in China. It makes our life so convenient. We just use our phones to pay everywhere, no matter if the business is big or small. You just either scan a QR code or with the latest Alipay tab, you just tap and voila, you just can't pay directly for whatever you're purchasing. Thanks to smartphone penetration and platforms like Alipay making it that simple to use, now, even elderly vendors in tiny towns accept mobile payments. This is a fruit shop that I often come to get my vegetables and fruits. So I'm going to give it a try here and show you how it works. So I'm just going to get maybe some mango and uh, some peaches. Now. Did you know that China is already using delivery drones and robots at scale? And some of them are delivering packages in remote mountain villages. But it doesn't really stop there. Automation here in China is on another level. Like here, you can order a coffee made by a robot. Or well, for example, when you are in a hotel and you order some food from a delivery, there are some robots that can actually take these packages and food to your room. China has more drone logistic test zones than any other country in the world drone delivery. How crazy is that? From a park, you can scan a QR code, order some coffee or a cake, and in a matter of minutes, a drone will come to that specific place to deliver your food. Did you know that some Chinese phone brands have received over 3 million pre-orders for some of their phone models within just two days of its announcement? Let's talk now about smartphones brands. They are pushing the boundaries of what a smartphone could be. They have these crazy charging speeds. They have also made in China chips that power all these amazing futuristic devices. Chinese smartphone manufacturers are well known for pushing the envelope with technology at lightning speed. New features like foldable and rollable screens, under display cameras, and even three folding phones are often first introduced in China. 
sometimes months or even before they're seen in the Western market. Service in hotels and restaurants also is top notch. Now coming to a restaurant here in China feels quite futuristic. You might be even welcomed by a robot. When you're waiting for your turn to enter a restaurant, you have these massage chairs. You also have service like power banks to charge your phone while you're waiting. So the whole experience of entering a restaurant where you can even order using your phone or a tablet feels quite futuristic. It's a whole experience itself. Some restaurants' locations in China feature robot waiters that deliver food to your table. You can watch as little robot cars glide over to your table with your food, adding a futuristic touch to the experience. It's like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. You know what else also blew my mind? The toy scene here in China. You have everywhere these stores called Pop Mart where you can buy these blind boxes with toys inside. You don't know what you're going to get, but that's a thrilling part about the whole experience. So you have these long lines of people waiting to get their toys and just see what they're going to buy in those boxes. Blind boxes where you buy a mystery toy without knowing what you're getting have exploded in popularity, especially among young people. The Chinese brand Pop Mart has over 1,000 stores worldwide and sold more than 300 million blind boxes since its launch in 2010. Made in China. And then you have electric vehicles. Big players are definitely changing the automobile industry with greatest innovation. Like Neo, for example, has this swapping battery technology. A well-known Chinese energy car company that have battery swap technology have collectively performed over 60 million swaps delivering more than 2.62 billion kilowatts of electricity. By offering battery swaps that can be completed in approximately 4 minutes. Also BYD with this super fast charging technology to charge cars in just a few minutes. All the technology inside the cars like voice assistance, huge screens, autopilot, make the whole experience of driving here in China an amazing thing. I myself drive a Xiaomi Su7 on daily basis and it's the best investment I've ever made. The car's sleek design instantly catches your eyes. The electric drive is so smooth and quiet, yet very powerful. Plus, the autonomous driving feature is honestly a game changer. So, when choosing a car, I honestly didn't even consider brands like Ford or Toyota. All these things together, the fast payments, the electric cars, the toys, the great service, makes living in China an incredible experience. And actually, just for visitors as well, when they come here, they love the experience of coming to China. Now, more and more people know that innovation in China is not a trend, it's a lifestyle.